Intel calls it hyperthreading, AMD calls it simultaneous multithreading, but they all do the same thing, make your CPU perform better. So what if we disable it? How much difference would that make in 2020? The test subject which we are going to use is the Ryzen 5 1400, a first gen Ryzen part, also being the weakest Ryzen 5 available at the moment, making this test much more reasonable on something like this than a Ryzen 7 or a Ryzen 9. As for the rest of the system, the most important parts being 2 x 4 gigs of 2400 MHz RAM, a RX 574 gig and a 1 terabyte hard drive. And yes, I know that uh, 570 can't really create a bottleneck for this CPU. So that's why I tested all games at 1080p with lowest settings to make the CPU work as much as possible. Now let us now see what kind of a difference does this make with some gaming benchmarks. Enjoy!